Have you tried the builds posted on YouTube only to find after hours of grinding to get all the jewels and armor pieces you still cart? Sometimes even more. Are you wondering why all these YouTubers are getting high amounts of damage and you can't get nearly that much damage even if you copy their build? Hi, my name is Adoiser, co-founder of this channel, and I love all things Monster Hunter except cookie cutter builds. I know my first video on this channel was a build video. I should have posted this video first, but I didn't. Sorry about that. So here I am today to help you get the most fun out of Sunbreak and Monster Hunter Rise without getting frustrated because your build isn't working for you. So let's get started with a bit of a disclaimer. I am by no means a master at this game. I do have over 400 hours of time spent in Rise total but there are many more with much more experience than I. That, unfortunately, though, may be the problem. Sometimes when you're at such a high level, you forget that not everyone can do the things you can. People put together these builds for the highest damage and forget about survivability. They build so that under optimal conditions, you can do max damage. Well, conditions are not always optimal. In fact, most of the time, they're very suboptimal. For example, I myself have a hard time with timing. I don't avoid damage well and get caught off guard a lot. This however does not make me a bad player. I am just more of that in your face player I want to be hitting the monster and I get so lost in my combos I can't get out of them. Therefore for me massive damage builds get me killed a lot. So I had to find that balance between doing crap loads of damage and having enough survivability to take a couple hits. As I continue to practice and learn the monsters, I can build in more damage. Please understand, I am not saying that build videos out there are bad and you should never follow them. I am saying don't be a cookie cutter. Take the bulk of the build but modify it to fit your playstyle. If you are great at positioning and avoiding damage, then by all means, max out your damage. That is the goal for us all. I practice every day to get to that level, challenging myself on harder and harder monsters. But when I need to get the job done or I'm fighting a new monster, I default to my defensive sets in order to not have that carding problem. I'll slot in some Divine Blessing and Recovery Up just to help keep me alive. Remember, dead men do no damage. A perfect example is I just reached Master Rank 100 and fought me a Scorned Mount Mallow. A fantastic monster and a super fun fight. If you haven't done it yet, you're gonna love it. Knowing that I did not know anything about this monster though, I went in with my defensive Hunting Horn build. Still has respectable damage, but can survive a couple tank shots and live to heal it. My time wasn't great but I was able to capture him in 21 minutes after carting twice. On the other hand, I can jump into a fight with a normal Magnum Allo and totally trash him. Because I have fought him so much, I can somewhat predict what he is doing and have an extra split second to dodge or be ready when he gives me an opening to thrash him. So the best way for us as players to find our perfect build is to look at how we like to play and tailor our set around that. In the next couple days I will be releasing my second build video. This build is kind of a marriage of two of Rage Gaming's videos on Palamutes. I love Rage Gaming, that's kind of why I'm giving him props here. It has a ton of survivability skills and can still put out damage with the help of your Palamutes. Look for that video coming soon. It's going to be interesting and you're going to love it. Back on track. Instead of constantly looking for that next meta build, get yourself a decent build and pick a monster. Fight that monster over and over, paying attention to their moveset and how they act. By focusing on one monster at a time, you will get more effective against them. Pretty soon you can start adding more and more damage to your builds and each new monster will get easier because you will have trained yourself to study the monster during the fight. Capcom understands all this, that is why there are so many skills. Both offensive and defensive, 
so you can build your hunter to work for you. Don't stop watching build videos, but always think about how the build will work for you and maybe take the base build and tweak it a little for your playstyle. Build videos are great for education, learning about new skills that you didn't know about or how skills work together. Remember, the name of the game is fun, and while demolishing a Teostra in 5 minutes flat is the ultimate goal, if you get so frustrated you want to throw your controller through your TV screen, then instead of relaxing and unwinding from a stressful day at work, you're adding more stress to yourself, and that's never a good idea. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you took something from it that can help you become a better hunter and enjoy the game more. If you did like this video, go ahead and bonk that like button. And for more videos in the future, subscribe and ring that notification bell. For now, this is Adoisher signing off. And remember, keep bunkin'.